we beat a really good basketball team tonight uh, in a great environment uh, with ESPN here. Um, our guys really stepped up. I thought the effort and energy defensively was uh, huge uh, to turn Alabama over 21 times and get a really good understanding of um, how we need to guard as a team. I thought uh, uh, Wes Flanagan, Chad Pruitt, their team of coaches did an outstanding job with, with the prep. I thought the kids were engaged and bought in, and that's the closest we've looked to um, the kind of Auburn basketball that I like to see. A lot of guys contributed up and down the roster. I thought Chuma was particularly effective in the first half in a close game. We went to him. He delivered. And, you know, we're going to go. We're going to kind of go as one and two take us. And one and two showed um, while size matters, speed and quickness is important too. And I just thought we were fast tonight. Um, so great win for Auburn. You beat your rival. You beat your – you know, it just means more in the SEC, and it just means more when you have an opportunity to beat Auburn, uh, Alabama. Um, I'm very proud of my seniors. Uh, Horace Spencer and Bryce Brown have, have not lost to Alabama at home. And that's really that's, – that's, that's a great accomplishment. That's a good Alabama team. That team will be in a tournament. That team will finish in the top five or six of our league. Bruce, can you talk about hanging with them on the boards tonight? Yep. Yeah. We did. We did a good job of, 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 of hanging in there. And um, it was a tease. You could see, you know, nobody had more than five, and it was a real good team effort. And that's when we play. That's when we play our best. Um, you know, a lot of, there were a lot of tough rebounds to be had. And um, our guys stepped up physically. Bryce said it was a good thing maybe that you guys kind of fell off the radar and got out of the top 25 just to see the way you responded. Do you kind of feel like that maybe helped the team? It may have helped with the kids, and so it's a great question asked to the kids. I'm old. I just I don't even I couldn't even tell you where we're ranked or whether we fell out or whether we were still in. I just I don't pay attention to it. I mean, I'm just focused on Missouri or Alabama and my team and what we need to do. So if that helped Rice, great. I think that's terrific. Let's talk about all the turnovers you forced tonight and scoring 30 points off of them. Um, they uh, you cannot guard Alabama one-on-one -on -one because they're too good individually. And I thought our guys did a great job of sinking and filling and stripping and ripping. We took a, you know, took a few charges, got bodies in there. When they score 87% of their points in the paint, that leads the nation. They're leading rebounding team in the league. Um, so obviously we just, the closer they get to the basket, the better they look. And we had, we had, we had to find a way to, um, to not, th not let them destroy us at the rim, and they did, they weren't able to. You, you mentioned it earlier, but Chuma, you know, in the first half, when you guys weren't, you know, doing so well on offense, going to him. I mean, how crucial was he? You know, he didn't do much. <laughs> he was, it was huge, because I could call his number, and he was deliberate. He was just driving downhill, tough twos, making jump shots, and uh, you know, we we put a few things in for him, to, which then tells him that we want him to do a little bit more, and you know, sometimes early in the game. Everybody's got a tough matchup, so you go to your best players that can break break a matchup down. And Truman's clearly one of our best players, and I just look for it, you know, look for that to continue. I apologize, I can't hear it. So. Um, I think taking care of the basketball um, is, is important. We, we've not taken care of it as well on the road. Um, and so, look, we're going to shoot it quick. That's what we're known for. I don't want to turn it over quick because <laughs> you know, then you don't get a bad shot up um, or have a chance to get an offensive rebound. So um, – our guards did a better job of taking care of the basketball and getting the ball to places we wanted to get. It was harder when Alabama was fresh. They played really. Had some really. We had some. They had some really good defensive possessions, and we were having a hard time scoring early in that game. Well, like I said, we just we didn't play them one on one. We played them all five guys. You know that's what we did. I mean, it's you. you if you let Avery does a great job at isolating his players one-on-one. -on -one. 
And defensively, we tried to not let him do that. He had a good workout today, and he's and he's definitely getting closer. Um, and I really won't know till tom- I won't know till tomorrow. It's uh, he's get he's getting better. We're gonna be on the on the side of we're gonna be on the cautious side. You know, um, we're not gonna play him until he's absolutely ready. And when he first comes back, he probably won't be able to play a lot just to get him back into the swing of things. We need him. Yeah, really good. This is back to back now. The best Jet Dan does look. Feels comfortable out there. Um, yeah, I was pleased. For Zeph, for the Mississippi State game, you said you guys got to kind of figure out what you need to do differently on defense. In these last two games, you've given up you know, 58 and 63. What has what has worked for you guys? Um, you know, to, to get that much better on the defensive end. Well, I, I think we've turned the last two teams over 40 times. So. When you're turning them over, we're going down the other end scoring. They're not be able to go pound it inside against us. And we were able to turn Alabama over tonight without extending too much, which I think was very important. Our ball screen defense was good. And um, okay, guys, thank you. Hey, uh, just last thing, last thing. Um, I want to, th- I, I, I want to thank our fans for creating this environment. I want to thank our students for standing in line all afternoon. I hope, I hope they all got in. I went out there before the game. And the line was all the way down to the football stadium. It was all the way down, it was all the way down to Donahue. I'd never seen it like that. Um, and just, just our athletic department, um, under Alan Green's leadership and with the support that we've gotten, he allows us to do outlive. It takes a lot of manpower. A lot of the guys in marketing, a lot of guys in sports information, a lot of people in the lobby selling shirts, a lot of ma- and every dime we get, we're giving away. That's, that's, that, that's a sign of great leadership in our athletic department that, that Alan is, was supportive of that and letting, us, letting all of his people do so much to make it a successful program. Now we all gotta hear the message. Gotta get checked. Gotta ask people that we love to get checked. And we'll figure out what the totals are. And I can promise you, every dime raised will go, go to somebody that needs it, that's fighting cancer here in the state of Alabama. And I appreciate the media, and I appreciate all your support um, with the visibility for this program. Thanks.